What's going on guys, it's Shane, I'm back here again with another video, and today we're going to be returning to Carson, Michigan, owned by American Bus Company. I know I'm a little late, but today we're going to be checking out their winter update. Uh, as far as I know, it's not too much. Uh, I do know it's a little bit of uh, snow effects, uh, snow on the ground, and uh, obviously the bus effects, uh, as you can see on the windows and whatnot. Um, I'm not a big fan of this... Uh, the way the snow is put on your screen, but it'll do, um, yeah, I guess it's lag efficient, so, uh, today we're going to drive the 22 HDX, uh, I don't know what this on the inside is, um, I don't know if that's snow, but, uh, yeah, that might, oh, what the heck, okay, so you fall through the, trunk right there, not trunk, engine, sorry, do the eggs, ex okay, it looks like it wants to work, but it doesn't, Great. all right, 68% fuel, looks like we're going to need fuel, okay, Speedometer works. Obviously, it's a little, uh, the gauges are a little broken due to the union glitch. Or update, sorry. There are the reds. Very nice. You can hear the heater. Is that a heater in the back, or is that just the engine? I'm not too sure. But when you, like, walk towards the middle of the bus, you can hear something like that. But, uh,. We'll go ahead and get moving. Uh, let me let me pull around actually. The reason I'm not a fan of this uh, type of snow effect is because when you're inside the uh, the bus, it the snow kind of just it follows wherever your screen is or whatever, but. So, like, when you're on the inside of the bus, it looks like it's snowing inside of the bus, but it's actually not. This is a diesel, right? Yeah. Let me just do that. Hopefully this works. I think the last time I tried to get fuel it didn't work. So, I have no idea if it will or not. I don't know if it'll work. I'm trying to click on it, but I don't think it'll work. That's fine. We're gonna have our headlights on for safety. And here we go. We're gonna do a, oh, parking brake. My apologies. We're going to do a middle school AM route. Or actually, yeah. And we're going to try to stick with first person. Simply because it looks good with the snow on the windshield. And uh, the bus on the inside actually just... Oh, I forgot I'm on the wrong side of the road. The road layout right there is quite weird actually. I'm used to it being kind of like NBC since it's kind of the same road, but they switched up the lanes. Apologies for my last video. I do realize that there was no sound. Um, that's my, that's my bad. I should have, uh, I usually check all of my videos before I upload them, but I uh, that one specifically I didn't really check because it was actually supposed to be a video with no commentary. It was just supposed to be like the engine noise, or the game sound I should say, but apparently it had no sound at all, so my apologies. I 
never been over here. Oh boy, off the road. There we go. Not bad. The uh, snow on the bus is a little different from NBC. I believe they use the snow texture itself. I can't actually really tell. I think it. I I think that's what that is. We use the sand texture simply because it kind of looks more like snow. Uh, well, so it depends on who you are, honestly, or who you ask. But I will say they did uh, they did a great job uh, with the snow effects on the bus. It, it does look great. Is this a dirt road? This seems like a dirt road. Some of you may know I do work at Moval, California. Um, I'm excited to announce that the next update is going to be kind of a major one. Uh, I hopped in their studio the other day and it looks completely different. Uh, it's not a new map. It's the same map. Um, however, it's receiving a big update. Uh, if you don't know, Moval is based in California. Uh, and... If you've never seen pictures of Mobile, California, uh, some of the terrain is actually sand, I believe, uh, or kind of a rock material. I don't actually know because I've never been there. I've only seen pictures, but it's not just green grass. Uh, so what they're doing is they're changing the color of the, the grass, sorry, uh, and it looks amazing. Um, it looks a lot more like Mobile, California. Uh, and they're doing some other stuff with some of the uh, houses, uh, and you you guys will see it's 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 an amazing update that they're working on. Uh, I'm actually currently building a new school for Mobile, so uh, you might see a new school when the update releases as well. Um, so yeah. I still think Mobile California is going to be one of those, uh, one of those more realistic bus simulators out there, um, because when you compare it to the actual location itself, IRL, it's it's like spot on almost. Uh, not the uh, it's not a one to one, obviously. I'm I'm just saying it's the buses are very similar. Uh, the person who works on the game actually lives there, so they know what they're doing. Um, I believe. Uh, so, it's just all in all a great bus simulator. I know I'm over here talking about Movac, California when I'm playing Carson, Michigan. A bit orthodox. I am drinking a Monster Energy Juice uh, Pacific Punch. My favorite Monster Energy Juice. Um, after that, it would probably have to be the, uh, the Mango. Uh, but the uh, Pacific Punch is definitely the one I always go with. I drink about one of those a week. I think that's safe, obviously. I knew a friend who drink Monster Energy like two times a day, which is... Not okay. I mean, I guess you could, it depends on the person, but I still don't think it's okay. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of energy for one day. But then again, you eat, people eat, uh, actually, I don't, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a, uh, nutrition, uh, specialist or anything like that, so I should probably. Shut up before I say something I don't know what I'm talking about. 
but uh yeah I must say these uh, bus simulators definitely have a different atmosphere when the winter hits for sure. It makes the game feel a whole lot different. I remember last year for NBC I wanted to, uh, I couldn't wait for the winter update even though I, I had just joined during the fall update. Um, I couldn't wait for the winter. Uh, then after the winter had rolled in I, I said you know what I'm tired of the snow I can't wait for the summer. So. And then summer rolled around and I was like, you know what, this ain't what I expected. I'm ready for the winter again. But uh, and now that I actually work there, it's a lot less uh, stress. I used to just like anticipate the release of the winter update. But now I know when everything's coming out, so... Yeah, this is the middle school we're going to be going to. It's to the right over here across the bridge. Uh, but we have a few more neighborhoods to hit up over here. The lake does appear to be frozen. Interesting. I do know Michigan is hit with quite a bit of snow every year. Um... They're up there by, uh, actually, it's on the other side of, uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to get the map in my head right now. Um, yeah, no, I'm actually wrong. Michigan's on the other side of the lake. Then, uh, what's it called? I don't know what I'm talking about because I got an F in world history. Not actually. I actually went to AP world history. Some of you might not have known that. Is it just me or is this mirror like... No, it's a mirror, I think. It just has a horrible reflection. <laughs> oh my god. While driving third person for a bit. Not a fan of the white rims. Not at all. Also, when do they... Do they put ads on buses in real life? Like on the side like that? I know it's an ABC thing, but that probably, like, isn't that, like, uh, weird to look at for people that are into buses like this? Like, just a huge ad on the side of the bus. <laughs> oh, Lord. I still need a screenshot. Ooh, they even got the emergency exit door. Nice. Um, I meant the snow on the window of the emergency exit door, by the way. Obviously, it has an emergency exit door. Oh, there's a bunch of houses back there with no road. Uh, at least I think there's no road. Anyway, we're going to drop off over here. I believe this is the drop off zone. Probably should be driving through all the spaces like this, but there are no buses in line.
there you have it. So now that I'm no longer in school, I have no idea when people's winter break starts. Uh, but uh, I do believe it's coming up if you're not already on it. Um, I meant to ask, uh, and I'll probably do a poll as well. Um, when do you guys prefer I upload? Um, now, I can upload early morning. However, I feel like that wouldn't be beneficial since everybody's getting ready for school. Um, me personally, back when I was in school, I used to just watch videos on my phone. So I can relate to the people that like to watch YouTube during class, uh, though I don't suggest it. But, you know, if you got a free class or something, I do uh, know that there are people out there that watch YouTube videos. Um, so that's why I'm debating on, I wonder if I should post around like the 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock time, uh, PM obviously. Um, Normally, I post my videos at 3 or 4 p.m., uh, and that's simply because everybody's just getting home, so they can, like, sit down and watch the video. So, I'm, like I said, I'm probably going to do a poll as well, but if you want to answer it here, what is what is the best time for me to upload, like, that fits your schedule? When do you want to watch my video? That's all I'm saying. If it were me, I would want, I would want myself to publish like at 12 o'clock that way I could watch it when I'm eating lunch or something like that that's just me I used to do that all the time back in school so um everybody's off the bus so we're gonna drive back to the lot yes sir I know my videos I do like uh I do like these short routes it's like it's not even realistic it's like I do one school route and I head back to the lot. I know it's a little unrealistic, but it fits my... It, it, it's basically a showcase. My videos are basically a showcase of the game and the bus itself, honestly. I don't know many people that want to sit here and watch me do a whole route. Um, unless it's like an actual route with actual people. Like if it was just me in here doing AM and PMs, you guys wouldn't want to see that. I mean, come on. Unless there were actual people in here with me, obviously. So that's kind of why I do this. Um, if I somebody asked me, that's why I brought that up. My Firestorm video is doing quite well, so I'm going to do a sequel to that. Um, probably by myself. Last time I had Royale with me. Uh, I don't know if he'll be joining me. I'll ask, though. I will ask. I don't know if this light actually turns green or not. Uh, if it doesn't turn green within 30 seconds, I'm going. Because I think I remember this light doesn't turn green. I'm almost quite positive it doesn't. Yeah, no. No, it doesn't turn green. All right. It should at least be flashing yellow or flashing red. Sorry about that. Oh, we got a little bit of clipping through the roof. Interesting. Should we take a different route? Should we go straight? I don't want to get lost. I don't know where that actually goes. But we're up for adventure. We're going to go straight and see where it takes us. Oh god, I have no idea where it takes us. I think it just... I don't know. What is that noise? Is that like a heater? I can't... You guys hear that? It sounds like a heater. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was because it is snowing and it's probably like, oh God, it's a dead end. It's probably like 10 degrees here in Michigan. Actually, probably like 20, 20 something, maybe low 30s, more realistic. Okay, I didn't know that was going to be a dead end, so my apologies.
I just noticed there's double tracks right here. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. You know what I'm noticing now? It's a lot like NBC last year. Um, if you noticed, a lot of the trees are still green. I'm sorry, but that's just like a pet peeve of mine. Um, when it comes to Roblox in winter, uh, if your game's not going to have either dead trees or trees with snow on it, that just bugs me. I'm sorry. And especially since we're in Michigan, come on. Uh, I know it can be a hassle to remove the trees and put down new ones, but that's what folders are for and server storage. But I mean, it is what it is. I didn't, I didn't just notice that until now, actually. So it's not a big deal, because I honestly didn't notice it until now. I see some have the little uh, snow, f snow on it, but that's about it. Like those right there, they have a little bit of like snow. But I mean, yeah, there are still green trees during the winter. Very rarely, though. I mean, you don't see that too often. Most of them just don't even have uh, leaves at all. It, it depends on where you live, though. These buildings always remind me of like a, a dormitory for like college and stuff like that. That's what those buildings remind me of. But the, I don't know if there's a college in this game. What does that say? Exit only. Oh boy, hold on. Don't mind me. I want to follow the rules here. I say that as I'm backing up down a main street. Alright. 9922. I don't know where that... I think it was right here. Yeah. 99. Right there. Here we go. Just pull up a little bit. There we go. I should be off. And there we go. See that? Tell me that's not it's a heater, ain't it? There we go. Oh, always happens. All right. Well, that was pretty much it. Um, I think the winter update was great. Honestly, um, love the customization on the uh the buses here, the effects and all that. Um, same with the snow around the map looks great. Um, and uh, that was pretty much it. Let me know how you guys like this update. Um, if you guys do wish to play uh Carson Michigan yourselves, it will be linked in the description down below as always. Uh, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time.